Isn't it insensitive of her to mention the car and seatbelt safely in front of him? This is the thing. Why is she talking about cars, seatbelts, safety, how dangerous they were and how they had evolved? Why in that moment where we're in a place of speaking about mental health? Why when we're speaking about social media? Why have we used an analogy which refers to seatbelts, cars and safety? Trigger words, trigger words. And of course, this is my opinion. All this is my observation after having trauma in my past and spending my life keep plunging in a spiral. Every trigger that came into my life, but not triggers placed by my side, triggers just from day to day life. How it would plunge me back into that spiral, that abyss, that indulgence, that sadness, that hate, that anger on repeat over and over, feeling that pain like that very day. A trigger, that word, that incites that memory, that feeling. Because in that time when he would have had that news, that sad, devastating news for a child to receive, but then have to walk behind her coffin because his position within the royal family and what he had to do along with William too. These words, these seatbelts, cars, it's a trigger. And the aftermath, this is what we do, this community. It's about, in a safe way, navigating and understanding our triggers so we can keep them at bay. We can be aware so that moment when we start to plunge, we feel that unbalance, that irrational, that devastation starting to implode from inside because we've been triggered. And that's the trauma, that's the PTSD. And it's about connecting the dots to the past so when that portal opens up being unaware we don't fall back in we can help ourselves come back out in helping us to move on and navigate away from that pain of that day now if she was speaking about diana in that moment and this in this if she wanted to paint a better, more positive way. Would you not reference the work that Diana's done over time? But no, this trigger word, this car, this seatbelt, this this devastating day. And we've seen it on a loop. We've seen and watched locks of hair on pregnancy tests and it would be nice and gentle. But in that moment of discovering he's gonna be a dad, that sadness tinged of how Diana won't be here to be the grand you know it, it, it's the perfume the throwing herself at the grave the new york car chase every step of the way is these portals opening up to the past for him to be indulgent and feel that pain now i know take it back to you the aftermath of your darkest days when you've been triggered out the blue away from that story that pain in your life then all of a sudden you plunge back in. You start to feel every emotion, sadness, this pain. And even I, in those moments, rejected my mom in that way. Why did you do this to me? And this is the reality and what I see. Again, my opinion, my observation of someone who's tried to heal and walk away from her trauma. is this constant trigger, this trauma state, this resurrection of his saddest day. And why? Why would you be in sense so insensitive as his wife to keep taking him back there? And it seems to me the only way, the only understanding as everyone looks on and sees the horror of constantly reminding she needs him in that place, in that state, this self-indulgence to inflict the hate, to join in and be the one, be the face of that hate. Just like we know, you know? But again, my observation, my opinions on what I've seen roll out. And <laughs> it's there on full display to any of the aftermath. This is what we are trying to do to understand those moments for when someone mentions that seatbelt, that car, bringing you back to that pain, that you're able to be strong and fight that trigger so strong, you know?
and, and and this is the damage it can do a prince was proud of everything that he had come moving on healing in a kind and gentle way now placed in a trauma state in the sadness of that very day